Hello everyone and welcome to the first air pull for the Lakeshore pack from our Ultra Iron Wolf series. These are the pups of Maple and Branch. Unfortunately, Branch did not make it to see them see adulthood. He was killed by a bear midway through the litter. These pups have been through some things. It was very dramatic and yeah, this was a rough litter, not gonna lie. This was probably the roughest litter that I've had in a Wolf Quest series. But three of our pups did survive, and we're going to be taking a look at them now. However, before we do that, I do want to make a little note on how things are going to be working slightly differently this time around. So normally when we have like a challenge series or whatever, each of the pups will have their own challenge. This time we're going to be doing that a little bit differently. So there is one challenge that will be happening after Ultra Iron Wolf. I already know what it is. You guys will find out eventually once Ultra Iron Wolf comes to an end. But basically no matter which of the pups inherits the pack, they will have that challenge. So... It's not like we're going to be picking based off challenges. We're going to be based off picking or picking based off of the character of the wolves alone. So just keep that in mind. They don't have their own individual challenges. Whichever one of them inherits the pack will inherit the primary challenge that we'll be assigning to the pack as a whole the next time around. That said, let's go ahead and take a look at our wolves starting off with Magpie. So she has a genetic black coat here. It is actually an NPC coat. Uh, it's known, at least on the wiki, as the 859M Blacker Coat, which means that it's based off of this one from Mark Canyon in the second row there if you're looking at that. So it's a little bit modified. It's got kind of that white patch on the top, and it's a little bit darker overall. She's also gotten got these kind of... They're kind of bronzy, goldeny eyes. They're very, very pretty, and um, yeah. So she's got kind of they, they, they. It's kind of they're cool. They stand out a little bit, but they're also subtle. It's not quite as bright as a lot of our wolves have had. Again, like I'm gonna go on and on about how pretty all of these combinations are because they just they work. The Wolf Quest team did an amazing job on all of these coats, and we're gonna get to appreciate them once again. But let's go ahead. We'll listen to our howls. That's our first one, a bit of a deeper one. Ooh, and a much higher pitched one. Now, as for these customizations, she did not get the radio collar. That's the only one that can turn on on its own. However, I will be putting this up in a post on Patreon. So if you're a member of the Patreon supporting the channel there, you'll have the chance to submit potential ideas for what could have happened to her in the time it between when she was a pup and when she became an adult here. So if you think she has a torn ear, or if you think that uh, something something happened, she got in a few fights or whatever, then you could submit that idea and have a chance of it being used. I'll be going through and picking up from uh, some of the ones some of the ones you guys have sent in for any of the wolves that we're going to end up using. Now here's another look at her stats as well. So she's got minus two strength, one stamina, plus two speed, and minus one health. So she's definitely a faster wolf. She's got, uh, uh, she's not, she's not, she's got some endurance as well is what I was saying. Uh, none of the pups inherited Maple's very low stats, so they'll have more normal stats for the challenge to come, which will probably work to their favor. Trust me, you guys will see once you know what the challenge is. <laughs> it's gonna be a doozy. It might even be harder than Ultra Iron Wolf, and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. Uh, but yeah, that is Magpie. She was the 2F member of the Lakeshore pack. Uh, we did notice that she was often the first to eat. She seemed kind of dominant or maybe just a little bit... A little bit stressed by how often there wasn't food. Uh, yeah, this this litter had it pretty rough. And I will note as well, if you want all of this info concisely in a spreadsheet, you'll be able to find a link to that in the video description. There will be a quick reference sheet as well as what uh, the events of the litter were, some of the major things that happened, because oh my goodness, there were a lot of major things that happened this time and it's sometimes a lot to track. So if you want that, uh, definitely check for the link in the video description as well as the link to the poll where you guys can vote for which of these guys uh, should be the litter error and potential candidate to carry on Maple's story. But that is Magpie, and next up we have River. So River has this white coat. This is the Hall of Fame 755M coat. You can see down here. Uh, and she has very, very bright eyes, much, much brighter than Magpie's. Uh, very, very goldeny, very, very gold, very gold. Gold is a good word for them. Uh, and let's listen to her howls as well. She, again, just such a stunning combination. Like, man, there's very few combinations 
that I think don't look good when it comes to the coat and the eyes. And she does have a genetic black coat, by the way, uh, in case you were wondering about that as well. Let's listen to her howls. Kind of a mid-tone, slightly deeper one, and then her secondary. Slight bit of a higher one. Once again, no customizations here, but if you have ideas for them, you can submit them on the Patreon post. There'll be a link to that in the video description when it's up. As for her stats, minus one strength, plus two stamina, neutral speed, and minus one health. So she's got some endurance, but not as much strength and not as much health. That could be kind of an interesting combination. It's a little different than most of our wolves, actually. And she was the 3F member of the Lakeshore pack. And she had a close call with malnutrition, which unfortunately did claim some of her siblings. Uh, thankfully, though, she was able to recover. She uh, she started to started to um, started to get sickly from that around the time that the calves and fawns started to show up. And so Maple and Hope were able to kind of turn the situation around, get her food in time, so that she was able to survive. But that is River. Once again, if you want a recap of all these, you can uh, take a look at the linked spreadsheet in the video description. And finally, last but not least, we have Badger. So Badger is the only surviving male of the pack, and he has, or of the first litter at least, and he has the 06 Hall of Fame coat, three or 832 F. Why do I always read that one wrong? <laughs> Uh, he is, I believe, the only one to have a genetic gray coat color, and he's got this really nice-looking brown fur. Like, it's just, ah, uh, I, I, again, again, I just, I love all of them. <laughs> he's got kind of a greeny tint to his eyes, too. It's not quite as, not quite as metallic, goldeny brown, bronze as the others have been, but still very, very pretty. Let's go ahead and we'll listen to his howls. Kind of a higher pitched one, and then for a secondary. A little bit more of a mid-toned one. Once again, no customizations here, but as stated before, you can check the description for the post on Patreon if you remember that and you want to submit ideas. Uh, as for stats, he got pretty neutral ones. He's got slightly higher health and slightly lowered strength, which may have actually helped him survive because he did fell ill near the end of the litter. Thankfully, he did recover. Uh, he was he reached 20 pounds and was able to shake off the illness before it could do any serious harm. And uh, he was often observed to be the last one to eat. Like he would let the his siblings, especially his sisters, go first. So he he seems like either more of a submissive submissive wolf or a more considerate wolf. Uh, definitely definitely not um, not greedy. That is for sure. But those are our three candidates from the first litter. Again, you'll be able to find a link to a poll in the video description where you can vote between the three of them. And that wolf will be then the candidate from the first litter who will run up against the other the other potential errors from the other litters once we've played through all of them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.